Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be drawing White Snake from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So, difficult pose, head tilt, and lots of letters written all over them. So, it might take a while. So, let's go. Um, yeah, just trying to figure out where to start. Okay, so landscape orientation page. Use a pencil for this and hit pause if I go too fast. So, so we got like a real major head tilt. Right, so, so just as a guide, I guess I'll draw that um, part of his face that kind of has a mask, so the masked part. So it just like curves around here somewhere. So it'll curve around like so. And it has a bump on his nose part, so it like comes around up around here and then it goes across the other side like this and down the back like there somewhere okay so awkward enough sort of shape right but this will travel down for his neck then down like so And then we'll go, we'll go up for the crown on the other side. So, so we got this head tilt, right? So, so the crown on the other side comes up this way as well. Okay. This goes up. into here, look like so. It's like a gap in the crown on this side. And then, goes across, down into here, and then bump, just there. So, right, so this comes around to his head, and then we're gonna bring it up and around for like these crown sort of areas. So we'll try do something similar on the other side as well. Three or four of these major spiking lines. Those up there. Back around. And then one in the middle. Bring it up like that. Bring it back down. Go around. It's like a crown. That's what we're going for. Tricky. So, pause that, see if you can replicate it. So his eyes then are in along here, and then just along this line. So like a curved line on top and on the bottom. It's kind of like you're going for sort of lemon sort of shape. And then inside that, he's got like sort of music, wavy sort of lines, like this for eyes, like so, and then the other eye up here, the lemon sort of shape again, like so, and 
hand waving music sort of lines like that and then he may have like some lines around shadows and things but it is a mask so there's not much in the way of detail apart from like stuff like this brow lines stuff coming around here the bottom and there's lots of shadows of course it's jojo so you can add them if you'd like so then sort of along this line we got like just another edge line coming down this way so we just just for the bottom of his mask like that and then we have a jaw so a jaw here comes down like so and then we go diagonal down here and then it comes around for the bottom of his chin and then we'll bring it back up into here somewhere so we'll go across like that and then in underneath doesn't really have an, a nose to speak of there might be like some hatching lines just there but nothing major maybe like a, a line coming up the middle of his head just there all right so then his lips big jojo lips so go up down into there and then the middle line same sort of thing again, just following that shape. That always reminds me of the handle of a bow and arrow. Just like so, and then his bottom lip, big bumping bottom lip line there. There might be some like hatching eyes. So, and we can actually see the bottom of his chin. So it's kind of drawn in like so uh, with some hatching on it because we're drawn from the manga because he hasn't been animated yet. And that'd be kind of cool when he is. So in the other side of the neck, so like here, okay, real twisted sort of neck. And then the collar will come around. So it goes around here. Like so, and then we got like a neck muscle line coming down there, neck muscle line there, and like a shadow just underneath his chin. And he's got some of those Jojo lines on his face, those sort of cheek lines, just like here and here somewhere. Right, so his collar then comes out down like this. And he's got like loads of studs and things on it, so it comes out like that. And then it was like a collar of studs, but we'll, we'll go out for his shoulder first. We're kind of bumping out this way. Let's get the shoulder all in the right place. And this kind of comes down the side there like that. And then pretty similar. So we got a spike or something there. So yeah, 
same sort of thing. Down that way. And this will go down like so. Now this wraps down around his chest, so it like goes down this way, and same on this side, so it'll go. So it comes out the other side, there. Does it come across his chest? Not in the picture I'm drawn from, but yeah, maybe like a light line is coming across here. And we got like some edge lines to this leather. So it's got like some detail lines coming around like that. And then there's like studs and stuff. So like these sort of circles. Like so. Coming up around there and on this side too. Right, so his shoulders then, we'll just get them in. So like, comes down that way. Another shoulder comes down that way. And then chest muscles, so like here. That should be like armpit sort of area, chest muscle area. Like that. And then there's like secondary chest muscle line just here. And then shoulder that way and then down that way and then, like it's done it's all done with hatching so I'll just do it with the hatching like that shoulder muscle secondary chest muscle line just there Some lines just there, and then we got like these spikes all along the front of his collar. So this side sticks out this way, and then they go sort of across like so. Three sticking out the front and they could have like you know these sorts of metallic like lines on them going that way another one here like so so take your time quite complicated character I know and that head, head is not easy because it's tilted so, really take it slow. So these sorts of spiking things like that. And we'll put another one here somewhere. We'll put it here. Like so, and maybe there's one sticking off his shoulder there, and one sticking off his shoulder here. And there could be some like, you know, shadow lines, fold lines and things coming across his chest. 
not much boss. Like that. And then there's some studs on his shoulder. Okay, so now we have to do all those letters and lines and things that go across his body, right? So you're basically curving a lot of lines first, right? Drawing like a rainbow on him, like this kind of thing, okay? They all come across, curve, wrap around his body. Right, and you do the same thing on his neck and all on his body down here. Like that, and then we gotta add letters, right? So it's like A, C, T, G, A, C, T, G, over and over again, okay? So I'll do, I'll do like one row and then I'll do every, I'll speed it up and do the rest because it's super boring to just see me do the same thing all over. So, A, well, it's like a triangle with a, another triangle inside, right? And then you have C. C. T. G. And it's like block letters. It must have been a nightmare to draw this guy in the manga. So you just do that A C T G A or that triangle C T G triangle C T G over and over and over and over with every second line. So like the next the next part will like so like triangle and then triangle like down here right so triangle and then you're skipping a line and then triangle down here okay so this line is blank and then you just fill all the rest so I'm just gonna go for it now right so now all that's left is that uh, floating disc that's up by his head, okay? So if you had something circular that you could draw around, that'd be ideal. If not, try and freehand it. So, circular, ink circle. A compass would work, a disc or a plate or anything that was like the right size, but. Hold your breath and just go for it otherwise I'll do like so and then we got like another circle in the middle and then another circle around that So, and then it says disc. Real old school sort of style writing. I think there's like an extra like line I'm trying to make it look a little bit 3d and then it has like these lines coming out from it here sure how that looks from up from up there but 
think it's pretty circular anyway. Hopefully. But anyway, not easy. <laughs> uh, I'd say it's a nightmare drawing all those letters over and over and over again. That took me ages. Okay, there he is. White Snake from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.